So today, for the first time ever in the last 50 years, you will have the opportunity to see in public the Hope Diamond out of the setting that was designed originally by Harry Winston. The Hope Diamond will be set it will be shown to the public without its setting for several months. We will be unveiling the diamond in this new temporary setting next year to coincide with the documentary that will be released by the networks. And then the Hope Diamond will go back to the original setting and its permanent setting at some point next year. We're going to reveal the work of Harry Winston, the jewelers, uh, who have come together and put together three different uh, diamond uh, settings for us and the American people have voted on which of these settings uh, is going to be the winner. The winning design had more than 45,000 of the votes and the winner is Embracing Hope and I'm very happy to say that's the one I voted for. It's the largest blue diamond ever found in the entire history of diamond mining. When you think about it, there's never been another diamond found that is the size, the color, the quality of this diamond. The Hope Diamond naked. The Hope <laughs> there we go. So there it is. The Hope Diamond, out of its setting, the diamond was found in India in the middle 1600s. It was sold by a gem merchant named Tavernier to King Louis XIV of France in 1668. But in 1792, during the French Revolution, and here's where the Hollywood story gets great, it was stolen and it disappeared, never to be seen again. However, 20 years later, the diamond that we know today as the Hope Diamond appeared for sale in London, and then eventually gets sold, is purchased by Pierre Cartier, the French merchant, and one of his best customers, Evelyn Walsh McLean, here in Washington, D.C., eventually buys the diamond. Of course, after her death, Harry Winston bought the diamond, and in 1958, gave the diamond here with his wish that it helps to establish a great national gem collection. As he liked to say, we don't have a king and queen, but we should have our crown jewels.